Rivian wall charger walkthrough. Welcome to EV family. Hi, my name is David. I'm a owner of a Rivian R1S and recently had my wall charger installed. So let's go through the setup and see how it works. First off, the uh, charger plugs into the, the side here. Um, the, the cable seems pretty uh, sturdy, but the charger itself seems pretty good. But as with all J1771 chargers, it just seems a little a little chintzy, so I'm hopeful it's going to be um, durable and uh, and not break if it gets dropped um, on the ground. I plugged it into the vehicle and it worked without setting it up in the application. So if you just want to hook it up and let it go, then uh, you can do that. Um, because we're sharing power in the garage with my Tesla chargers, uh, we ended up changing the jumper switches on here to have. Part of the power go to the Rivian charger and the other part of the power go to the Tesla chargers. The Tesla chargers do something cool. They talk to each other and they, if one's not in use, then it'll take all the power or if they're both in use, it'll split the power. In hindsight, I probably should have just gotten another Tesla charger and used the, um, that feature on here. But uh, regardless, uh, we have it set up now and we'll try it out. Uh, there is also a process that you go through to set it up on your uh, application. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, it says add gear and it says pair your charger. It says it should take about three minutes. It says reset the circuit breaker on your home's electrical panel and find the circuit breaker. All right, so I just, I just reset the uh, charger. So we're going to do get started. It says to restart it and then swipe up to start pairing. Now it says finding. Found the charger, start pairing. Gives me a Rivian wall charger. Now it says it's pairing, pair. Blue ring there looking like it's Bluetooth linking to my account. It says it's linked. Now I need to connect it to Wi-Fi. Do have an access point here in the garage, which I will put in there. Oh, new device found on my firewall. So obviously it's it's connected. Connect to Wi-Fi. Now it's connected. It says completing. Setup complete. So I can click view charger. It tells me I have a wall charger. I can name it. And change the network. It says what the the power is, what the software version is, and all those types of things. I was curious, I was thinking that maybe you would need a software update. I don't see a software update on it. So we'll go back to the car and we'll, uh, we'll plug it in for the, uh, for the first time and see how that goes. So we plugged it in, charger turns green. It's plugged in and it's charging. Go into the car, it's charging, gives me, says it's going about four miles an hour. Hopefully that'll get a little bit better. So the charger's up and running. As it turns out, the uh, app for the Rivian was very useful because it helped me figure out that the jumper settings were incorrect on the charger. So it was only pulling out 20 or 12 amps when it should have been putting out 20 amps. So that's my walkthrough of the Rivian wall charger. Hope you enjoyed it. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. And I'll have a series of Rivian versus Tesla videos as well 
if you want to see comparisons of the Tesla Model X Plaid and the Rivia R1S. Thanks for watching.